Buenos días, otra vez. Welcome back, and we have had three interesting lectures, and we had two sessions prior to that, and uh, two activities since 9 a.m. We're going to start now with the opening ceremony. We have online, online simultaneous translation, and also for our American friends. We decided to start now because so the previous sessions on public sectors in Spain was not on the internet, but now we have streaming and we start now. And I think that you have the application because all questions you've asked, uh, well, uh, were asked through this application, this app, and with the app you can not only ask questions but you can answer, answer back and you can uh, comment. We will have a couple of questions to be answered. You can answer directly and those who are online connected to our streaming. As you see, we have figures here and we have 356 people registered, 356 people attending and more than 500 people online. Online and we're getting more and more people. So 356 plus 500 and they're waking up now in Latin American countries and we're going to start now. I think that we're going to have like last year lots of participants and we're proud of that and our objective like last year's objective is to promote facility management activities to give a technical recognition to facility managers and to make it so that the market will see us that key players key players are must within organizations and facility managers will have vital contributions to enhance productivity and other aspects within the organization and we're going to tackle that uh, but i'm not going to be too long i just want to welcome you i would like to welcome you now to welcome all our participants welcome you people online we're going to start now with our streaming and i'd like to thank all of you thank you because if we're here it's thanks to you all and uh, if uh, we have a success if we have a success, it's thanks to you all. If things are not well done, well, I take responsibility, but you're great and it's going to be fine, and I'm sure of that. And now we're going to begin with one analogy that uh, it seems interesting, and we've been talking about other analogies, and I'd like to uh, quote something that's de novo. When we mention facility management, when we talk about facility management, we have to sell the ideas there are different ways, different companies, many countries, many environments, they don't know about facility management or they have wrong ideas or they associate this with other aspects. We see here that is something close to us, something very close to us, something allowing us to make analogies, to understand what is our daily activity and something we do uh, like music and facility management, music to my ears, and that's what I want to say, music, music, because uh, facility management, and let's give a thought, let's think about music, since the very beginning, since the very beginning of mankind, prehistorical times, man needed, needed basic things to survive, of course, in search for food, uh, to reproduce themselves, and that's it. The difference uh, in cases that man is able to create, to get related with the environment, and to interact with the environment. And we started seeing there different things, different samples, different expressions of art, the need of painting, like you have here, the need of representing animals and human beings. You see people dancing there and playing some instruments on top there. So man had evolved, mankind had evolved different instruments. You have here this type of tambourine, whatever. You were just playing a drum, playing a, and we had people with different things. At the beginning, we could uh, 
a whistle, we could have uh, different instruments and as you see here we just uh, shake something and with this you can uh, uh, play and have uh, some instruments, percussion instruments. You have this type of a necklace, like, it's like a xylophone that was very complex regarding the combination of sounds or even flutes. You had flutes made of bone, 9,000 year old flutes. We have instruments, wind instruments. The different is like a whistle is different because now we have more, more holes and you have a combination of sounds. But you have here uh, different instruments like this one that is uh, dates back to uh, several millenniums ago and we have a chord instrument here but we are talking about music music to my ears music to your ears you have enjoyed music you know what music is you'll know you all know song a song you like song coming into you uh, all your spirit all the time, but whatever we listen to is registered. If I'm not able to convey in an organized way, a coherent way, a consistent way, the music I'm playing, the music I'm listening to, we wouldn't be able to reproduce the music. This is why uh, during the ninth century uh, they decided it was necessary to put in writing, to describe the music, to reproduce the music, and they decided to invent formulae, ways to reflect, ways to convey what they wanted to say and to make it reproducible and to give the same sounds out of that. So there was the evolution. Here we have this notation. It is like singing with different accents. And there was this sort of square uh, reproduction where from uh, here we have the little squares and it was possible to write differently. We had the four lines on the, and now the pentagram. Now we have this and you know what it is. Now you know how to reproduce. You have studied music, most of you, but of course, uh, of course, at basic education, you have basic uh, information on music. I haven't written music, but I know it does exist. I, I cannot read music, but I know it exists. And when I go to a concert and I see people, and I see people playing the instrument, and I see people reading, reading, and music, they know how to read music, and they know that, and they have the score, and they can read, and they know by heart, and they can play by heart, but they have it, they have it as a guideline. They have it in order to follow the song, to follow the music, to play the music, but we know that there are ways to work, and that helps to reproduce it in the same way to convey it, if I want to modify, if I want to check it, or I have to do it uh, in this way that is always the same, no doubt about it. Music surrounds us. Music is always everywhere, every day, and we know that there are methods of professionalization. Professional musicians, they know the know-how. You all sing when you take a shower, you all sing, and, uh, and those who do not have a sponge uh, with a musical instrument shape, when we sing in the shower, we're trying to replicate something. We're trying to invent something. And it works or not, depending on the objective. The objective when you sing in the shower is to have a good time. We're not musicians, but it works. And we don't know what we're playing. And we're, we don't know what is heard by others. Technology gives us applications that uh, indicate chess plays and or sing, and I will tell you what music it is, and they indicate the song and the theme, etc. Technology allows us to modify something that we know exists and which can become uh, procedural. Let's talk about work and uh, the origin. We have been working for more than 100 years, because some offices are more than 100 years old. The environment or facility management is associated to offices will work, and most uh, companies have an office, a place to work, and um, 
Facility management is associated to that environment. Most people have a well-arranged environment, but in 10 years, this is 1918, I think that the plan is not so modern, but we see that in 10 years, there is a change and the way of uh, people work and people arrange things is different, but those people are working. Here there is a facility manager. Of course, the title would not, will not be called facility manager, but here it is necessary to have somebody with more or less common sense and a good mind arranges, organizes, and optimizes the way people work. People are working, but there is no score in front of their eyes. They are working, but this order does not exist. The fact that an office in different places works in the same manner depends on having that order and uh, that procedure. Organizations, in order to work, need to be more competitive than the rest. Organizations, when they grow, one of their first aspects is communication. Organizations have to communicate. They have, they must exchange information between their offices, with their clients, and we have all experienced this. This happened, this evolution, in a very short period of time. But we have not just experienced that in our work environments. There is a study that indicates that in each home there is an average number of three mobile phones, cellular phones. I have more of them. But we change uh, mobile phones every year or every two years. Technology pushes us to us. We need to change our uh, mobile phones because new ones provide applications and uh, possibilities that did not, we didn't have before. The organizations, in order to work or when they work, cannot obviate this. They may say we have a, a, a company uh, phone, uh, but communication is necessary in the organization, and all the companies understand this. What it means is that facility management exists in order to give support to the organizations. And there are aspects that organizations understand and accept. And if they want to be competitive, they must change. But uh, in technology, they don't see the discipline as something that needs to evolve. This, we have all read, those who are in this room, we have experienced this. All of us have experienced this. This tells us that uh, the evolution of technology is something that the organization understands. If we don't measure, if we don't take measures, if we do not assign uh, figures, this slide would go more inadvertent. If we take a look at this slide and we, and I tell you that this has happened in a period of 30 years, and if I tell you that in 30 years the size of the uh, devices we use in order to see, to visualize the work we do has become 10,000 times smaller. Organizations understand that they must adapt to technology. Actually, there are several studies that indicate people have better cellulars, better computers, and better tablets for their um, uh, um, better tablets for their personal use than those provided by the organization. When you uh, have a tablet, a personal tablet, but the organization doesn't give you a tablet, you download the office data to your personal computer. Organizations understand that, that they must adapt to new technologies, but not so much. Or what are organizations doing? They are using those technological changes in order to help their people work better. It is their obligation. But considering these figures, if there is no facility management, you nobody can tell the organization we can save 20% of square meters 
by changing um, the space distribution, they will accept that if you say that with uh, mobile technologies, you may decrease by 60% the need for space, the organization does not implement that. As I have said many times, FM is a discipline just like medicine. Nobody amongst you, nobody would like to go to a doctor who has not um, updated himself in the last year or two. Uh, medicine is evolving that you need to know the last uh, surgical technique, the la latest uh, drug, the latest experimental aspect that may help you with a disease. And doctors should be updated because of medicine changes very quickly. We are facility managers, and we are working with the management uh, models that were set up 50 years ago. We are using tools which are 50 years old. We are defining the services just like 50 years ago. We're not making any progress. If we look at this image, we say, yes, we're making progress. We have flat screens, etc. But this is mandatory. We do it when we have to do it. But how many of you work in offices where furniture was uh, designed for those big city or screens? Probably many of you. How much can the organization save if we use if we use this space you really need? Well, what happens? Probably I have to define my requirements or my needs. Well, um, yes, um, you, the company will say, "Why should I buy new furniture?" But you buy new cars, and uh, if you don't want to buy new furniture, you can do resort to renting. So facility management is a discipline that provides a lot of professionality, a high degree of it. But organizations should understand that this can be professionalized, that the music we listen to every day requires a score and professionality, otherwise it cannot be registered. Or it cannot be recorded. It cannot be improved. Will we say this will be available in January? This is a flexible display. This was launched in January. The organizations must understand that this makes work quicker and makes it possible to work wherever you are. It is not a question of carrying the tablet in your hand, but having it in your pocket and putting it on whenever you want. What do F facility managers do? For whom do we sing? For whom? Uh, to whom do we say, listen, I need you to allow me to draw a score for this music I'm singing for you. I need to register this in order to extrapolate it, to be able to measure, to improve the first problem of our facility managers is our fire triangle. Now, who does a facility manager work for? We have three sides. The department of FM serves the organization. And I say, OK, my organization is here, but my organization wants savings and innovation. Innovation, but savings also. And here I have my departments. What are they asking for? They are asking for answers. They don't care about savings. They want uh, answers. But I have a third side of the triangle, which is this one. And these are the people. The people, what do they request? What do they are for? Savings? No. Answers? They don't. People want love. Love, affection. I'm cold, if, uh, too hot. The chair is uncomfortable. So the facility manager is in the middle. Uh, for whom should I? Uh, sing. I can provide a good service, which is cheap, and besides, to allow you to feel very comfortable. It is very difficult. The task of the facility manager is very complicated, unlike other professionals in other areas. It is very complicated to get out of the organization. You are who you are, and your, the answer is, I cannot get out. I have a lot of work. They all have a lot of work. But um, they find the chief financial executive goes 
out for something related to play role and nobody says anything. The whole thing depends on us. Uh, uh, this will change uh, by, we, we, this will be changed by ourselves. We must break this barrier. If we don't act, we cannot change our environment. Nobody's going to change it for us. Countries, countries, globally speaking, believe in discipline and it is intrinsic to their activity. This is a summary of the World Economic Forum, a report for 2014 and 15 of the 10 most competitive countries in the world. We carry out studies in order to determine the maturity degrees of the facility management in different countries. We've done it in European countries and Latin American countries. When we saw this report, we said, let's analyze with the other criteria we use, where those uh, countries with the highest scores are, of which uh, countries they are. Is there a correlation? Yes, the most competitive. Um, countries, according to the World Economic Forum, are the 10 most advanced countries in facility um, management. Is this uh, by coincidence? Maybe, because the World Economic uh, Forum does not consider anything related to facility management. So, we see, actually see, that uh, there is a correlation. There are uh, facility managers everywhere in all the companies. We haven't find, found any correlation between types of company sectors, industries, markets, but these countries are amongst the most advanced countries. What if we don't talk about countries, but about companies? This is an MIT report in technology reviews, which is a publication with a lot of interesting uh, information. Uh, this report uh, started to be published four years ago. These are the smartest companies, they say, the ones that are going to change the world. They are very proud. And I'm very, they're very proud because many of the companies are here or they are connected online. Are these small or big companies? I don't know, but they are going to change the world. Some of them are easy to be recognized, but not all of them. What did we do? We analyzed each one of these companies. We sought for them and we saw how big they are. Some of them are very small. Some of them are working in nanotechnology in order to use just one molecule to do transistors. They have achieved that in India with 30 people working in that. So we said the companies with more than 150 people, which is a good number, a good figure, uh, that uh, justifies having a facility management department. We saw that 86% of those companies have a department of facility management with this name or a similar name, but with the uh, tasks carried out by facility management uh, departments. These are the companies that are going to change the world, and they have one or several facility managers. We need messages to prove, to show that our activity is important for the organizations. We need to launch messages to say, hey, this music you're listening to, you're used to, which is the daily um, tasks for things to work, must be uh, submitted to procedures because facility management is going to do to allow you to better make decisions and organize things you may go on singing in the shower. But this will be all oh, facility management says, let me help you and I can help you. This is my message. And I repeat, this is my man my message. I want more facility managers and I want them to be well recognized. Facility managers are our customers our clients, the people that feed us, the people that make decisions. But it does not just depend on them, uh, the fact of changing this. Organizations understand that we should uh, provide uh, knowledge and competences to them, and they are going to turn this music into something that provides results. Thank you very much.